That homework last night sucked. It took like 15 minutes. Please stop complaining. I hate math. Any type of math homework sucks. Okay, just because it is one particular subject you don't like doesn't make it hard, Brian. You know what? This. I'm not getting my hand blistered for this stupid teacher. Brian, did you just throw a football at me? I have just about had it with you, mister. Not only did you hurt your teacher, you also caused a distraction to your classmates. Everyone in your school is so different. Paul is the most intelligent. James is the fastest. And, and you're the fastest to the lunchroom. <laughs> now hang on just a minute. A minute? You mean how long you lasted? <laughs> Gosh damn it. I can't believe I got detention for the next month. Brian that's life. If you throw a football at a teacher and proceed to make fun of the principal's obesity, then you're gonna get punished. You're such a teacher's pet. Brian that's just common sense, and you're lucky your mother spoils you rotten. You're just a selfish spoiled piece of crap that can't keep its mouth shut. Yeah. I'm gonna get revenge on that son of a gun if it's the last thing I do. Wa a a a a a. Sally, what's the matter? My boyfriend cheated on me for a very expensive dress, and now I have no one to go to the dance with. I'm sorry to hear that, but the dance isn't until three days, so you should use that time to ask people to go to prom with you. Okay, thank you. Hey guys. I'm really worried about my sister. We don't care. Well of course you don't care because you're an uncaring douchebag Brian. Dude have you not heard what's happening? What? Brian is trying to get the principal arrested because he is mad at him for giving him detention for a month. How's it going for him? We don't know. He says he works in secret. Well good luck to him because he is gonna need it. Hey, I heard that. Oh whatever. I'll be back later. I have to go do something. What did you do? Nothing important, I definitely did not just grab a pocket knife and write the principal's name on it and put it on his finger when he wasn't looking so it gets fingerprints and put it in his safe. Oh. Well okay. I'm gonna go do my science homework, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So you see children whenever. Get on the ground, get on the right now and put your hands above your head what's going on what's going on don't play dumb we are the police we found this in your safe with blood all over it you are under arrest come with us this instant au revoir principal i'll be sure to visit you in jail well how did it go horrible everyone thinks i am ugly and stupid maybe i don't deserve to live in this world hold on hold on hold on Sally, if I drove you to the dance in my dirt bike, and walked you in, would you be- Oh my god Steven, you would go to the dance with me. Sure Sally. Sure. Yay 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 Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, thank you so much for taking me. Hey Sally, sorry we hate brown hair kids so you are going to have to leave. But Steven can stick around. <laughs> you know Kenny I think I know why you're such an asshole. Excuse me. It's alright Steven we should just go somewhere else. No 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 it's alright Sally. I got this. Yeah you heard me. You see Kenny. You're popular because your dad gives you 10 pounds of makeup to hide your ugly face. And you can't stand to not wear makeup because then when you look in the mirror you see a scumbag. So you take it out on Sally and pick on her to distract you from the truth. That when your high school career ends, you're gonna be a stupid self-centered Karen with a job that pays 30000 a year. Do you get it now? <laughs> what a baby. Ha 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 ha. Sally, you don't deserve to be treated this way. When someone mistreats you, you can't just stand there and take it. You have to fight back. 
you have to show them that you are not the one to mess around with. Okay, I understand now. Good, please promise me whenever that happens you stand up for yourself. Alright children today we're gonna start with some math. O'Brien your mom sent you this letter. It says, Dear Mr. Brian Miller, you are under investigation of false accusation of your principal murdering someone. Based on the evidence of your case we found, it looks like you have said false claims that can and will be used against you in a court of law. We are giving you seven days to come clean and say your claims were false and we will let you off with a small fine. But if you do not come clean within the next seven days, we will continue the investigation and if it turns out your claims are false, we can promise you that your punishment will be much worse than a fine. Signed, Officer Bobby. Ha 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 You're in trouble with the police. I hate you so much Stephen. So who's gonna represent your case in court? Who is gonna be your lawyer? I'll do it. My dad is a lawyer so it would be a great opportunity to prove myself to him. Ha ha jokes on you. I found myself a lawyer. Okay children what is 5 times 3? Fine Brian. 27. Oh my god this kid's on drugs. No Brian that's not even close. I think I know the answer Mr. Eric. Memma memma memma. Shut up dumpster fire. Hey don't call me a dumpster fire you stupid douche. You earned yourself a time out young lady. Now sit here until I say you can get up. And wipe the grin off your face. You are getting on my nerves. How are you not sad? When mom puts you in a timeout you act like it's the end of the world. I'm surprised to see you not crying. So what happened? So remember when you told me at the dance that I should stand up for myself whenever someone is being mean to me. Well, a girl was making fun of me for having social media so I cracked her skull open. What? Sally you can't assault someone that's a felony. Well yeah but you don't bust someone's ass open because they made fun of you. Sally, let me make this clear to you. Only defend yourself if someone is physically assaults you, if someone is just being mean to you, just put them in their place by roasting them in front of everyone. Okay, I promise. Somebody help me please, Sally stop I'm sorry, I'm sorry, someone help please. What the fuck? Well I guess she didn't get the message. Alright alright where is this kid, his claims have been proven false. Hey you, you in the stripes, come with me now. Alright kid listen, is it true that the accusations you made were deliberate lies, or did you just incorrectly suspect someone? Um, um. Oh, and before you answer, you do know that lying to a police officer is a felony in this state, right? Um, 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 um. Stop it with your um, um, um crap. I want to know the whole truth right here and right now, so spit it out. I plead the fifth. Do you have a lawyer? Because if you do, you can bring them in. Officer, I am Brian's attorney. Okay good, I am glad we are all on the same page. Now I would like to ask you young man, did Brian share with you any personal evidence of the crime he accused the principal of? My client denied making any false accusations against the principal. And I believe that this was just a big misunderstanding. Okay, I have a question to ask both of you. Do you consent to a house search? Do you have a warrant? Yes, yes I do. You know what, I'm done, screw this, I give up, I'm going to go trick or treating. Okay, you may leave, the trial will be in one week so be ready for it. Hey this judge crap got me feeling some type of way, I might smack a guy with this gavel if I gotta do it. Wait hold on. This is the judge? Yes I'm the judge, what you gonna do? How is she a judge? She's like the most unjustified person on the planet. Look, I'm the judge, I'm in the booth, and I have the gavel. Brian, look, Hillary Clinton is the judge, deal with it, so just shut up and let me do the talking. All right, is the prosecution ready for the opening statement? We are ready, Your Honor. The defendant Brian has been charged with three false accusations of only one man, the principal of his school, whom we are the attorneys of. 
We were told that on October 29, 2021, the principal gave Brian a whole month of detention, for insulting him in the office. For a guy his age, this doesn't seem like how a kid would respond, but nobody has found any sort of evidence, besides the fake one provided by Brian, when he put fake blood on a pocket knife in his safe. So the kid has to be guilty. Yeah, he is definitely getting at least a year in jail. All right, now the defense. Yes, your honor. I do not see how my client is guilty. I know you have found no evidence of his accusations, but I have not seen the prosecution provide any evidence against him. I mean he may have been pissed at the principal and threatened to actually do something against him, but looking at his age, I highly doubt he would be bold enough to actually do something. If he falsely accused the principal, why was there a knife in the safe, why was it in his pocket, why were there fingerprints on the knife? See, it doesn't add up. Bro you are the worst attorney I have ever had, you're not talking about crap up there. Brian do you want to get up here and testify? Regardless of what happened charges are still going to be pressed on you. Nah, I'm good. Order in the god dang court, is the defense done already? Yes your honor. Alright prosecution start calling up some witnesses. Prosecution calls Paul Sean to the stand. Wait, what? Alright let's get this thing started. So tell me about yourself Mr. Sean. Look I don't know what Brian did to cause a whole court case, but all I know is, whatever you're accusing him of, he's guilty as charged. Oh classic Paul, always pulling this bull on me. Brian just let the guy speak or else they won't let you speak. I have a feeling you have never been to court before. I have actually. You have? For what? I called the cops on my mom for giving alcohol to me. She put it in the medicine she gave me. Brian you are so freaking stupid it's unbelievable. As I was saying I heard Brian say that he was going to get the ultimate revenge on the principal of the school, and I think a false accusation of murder was one of them, so I believe he is guilty. Paul the fact that you were able to provide little to no evidence at all drives me even more crazy than the fact that Hillary Clinton, out of all 7 billion people on this earth, managed to become judge for a court case. Shut your mouth Brian. Alright since there are no witnesses on the defense, prosecution give your closing statement. Alright, so we don't really know what happened, but the defendant and his attorney clearly has no clue what they are talking about in this courtroom. Oh my god I have never been more embarrassed, can I get a new lawyer? Alright defense let's hear your closing statement. Once again, I have not seen any evidence provided by the prosecutors, so I am confused on why the court is bent on Brian's arrest, it really doesn't add up. There is zero evidence that can convict Brian except for the prosecution's claims of fraud that could very well be not true. My client is not guilty. Yes he is, that kid is guilty, I hereby sentence him to 18 months in state prison on false accusation of murder. Ah well. I tried. James you got on in this courtroom, you really suck. Well guess what, you're going to jail so I really couldn't care less. When I get out of jail, I am going to get that stupid principal. Well, I guess we won't have to put up with him for a while. Alright I'm going home. He'll be alright. It's only 18 months.